We're getting ready for an all day trail ride that I have tomorrow. It's not like an all day trail ride, it's like a lot of the day. So yeah, I have a lot of stuff I have to pack. I also have to ride Blaze, so it's getting pretty busy. So yeah, I'm gonna pack up the trailer before I ride Blaze, cause I don't want Blaze to st standing around while I do all those, all my work. Okay, so we have to, I have to pack the hay bag and then I have to bring extra hay. This is all I need to take cause I have my hay bag and hay bucket still up at the trailer. So I'll get that when I bring back my tack and stuff. Oh, I'll take carrots later. But all my tack is still in the trailer for my lesson I had yesterday. So yeah, I'll take this to the trailer. I'm taking a pitchfork and a poop bucket because he's gonna poop in the trailer and poop on the place where I'm tacking him up. And I don't wanna leave poop in the parking lot. Now we're on our way to the trailer because it's pretty far away and I don't wanna carry all my stuff all the way over there because we're gonna have to take like two or three trips. in the ring today because he's gonna go on a trail ride tomorrow. But we're gonna do trail ride. I'm going with some other girls from my pony club. Um, so yeah, my instructor, well one of my instructors, Miss Leslie, is gonna be going too. So she's gonna bring her kids and her horses and stuff. So first, the trailer. Ugh, I have to clean it out. And now I'm just gonna dump the manure over there. Wait, no, I'm gonna use this because I have to clean it anyways. There's a hay string attached to this. Cause I have to clean that anyways. So I might as well, cause I don't wanna clean that again. <clears throat> Ooh, a pile of poo. How did a turd get all the way over here? At least he only pooped once. Cause my instructor's house is only six minutes away. Okay, we're all ready. Trailer's all ready and then we have a poop. Oh, I forgot. I put Blaze's water bucket in here because uh, I, he didn't drink any there because he was eating a carrot. And he doesn't um, drink water until he's sure you don't have any carrot. And I was already running late home, so I just decided I better hurry up and do it. <laughs> that hay belt bag looks full, so I'm gonna fill this up with hay. Of course I'm gonna clean it because it has other hay and old hay and everything. I'm gonna leave this. Wait, I can't because it's my helmet. And my bridle. Close. Yeah, it's just disastrous when I ride him without any bridle or saddle or my, I don't remember, but something else. Okay. <laughs> Ew. I don't know where you're gonna sit. Okay. This is definitely not enough water. I have a huge container. I think I should have a five gallon bucket instead of like a 10, 15 gallon bucket because I only feel like quarter way. Ew, there's hair in that. It isn't mine. I don't have brown hair. And there's even small hairs, that's disgusting. I also used to scrub it out. I haven't scrubbed, ooh, I haven't scrubbed it out in like, uh, six months. Well, I, ever since I got my horses, well, no, I only have one horse. Ever since I got my horse, I've used this in the trailer, I've kept it in the trailer, because I go somewhere once or twice a week, so. I mean, it's not too bad. Not like some of the waterways we have here on the farm. Put this in the back. I'm gonna clean out my trailer and just scrub it. There's spider webs in there, hay, Trash bag. This is the bag of old carrots. Luckily, all I took, I I fed the carrots before they brought it away. I don't know how I'm gonna fit this all in. 
Oh, hey, I had to pick my water jug, poop bucket. I mean, I, it's gonna be very tight. I could just like tie a pitchfork like here. <laughs> It'll probably fall off. And then this is my only pitchfork. I mean, I have, it just kind of fits. I might have to put it on top of my saddle stand. Okay, I have to stop at the house to get um a bag for, this is why I'm having my horses at my house because I, if I bore my horse at a stable, I would have to go all the way home to get a plastic bat if I forgot one. Because I forget so much stuff. I forget my helmet, my crop, my get on ass, and you're gonna be left behind. Like, you can always borrow a helmet somewhere. You can't always borrow. Like, yeah, my instructor, Miss Leslie, who's going tomorrow, I was um, hanging out with her at a horse show, and I was helping her little girls tuck up. And <clears throat> they didn't bring one crop. And they're, they have like two really lazy horses. Well, ponies, they have two lazy ponies. And yeah, they had to borrow a crop. And I had a crop with me, but my parents took it home because I was done showing. So I'm using this to put my grain in. Because if we put it in a bucket, it's gonna spill everywhere. And I'll, it'll get grain dust on my saddle, bridle, girth. Saddle pad, ear bonnet, foot wraps. They're actually called drafter boots. I just call them foot wraps. Helmet. Very dusty. Let's throw that on. <clears throat> we'll come back and get everything else. Like what I decor or how I decorated Blaze's stall, I got a new plate. That was his old plate. Oh, I'm not, I'm not using the saddle pad. Did actually, I guess I will because I don't want to go into my tack room, except to get my saddle soap. I like putting my helmet on. <sighs> I'm just gonna fill up the stuff because I'll put it in the shade because I don't wanna bother going and going put them back back because I have to take another trip there anyways. So we don't have that much. Well we do have pretty much all afternoon. But I don't like spending all my time doing one thing. Yeah. But this this hose gets so hot and the hot water comes out and it takes me forever. Like when I'm trying to hose blaze off after I ride, it's difficult because the water is hot. I just get it down to like a reasonable temperature, like 100 degrees. And then sometimes I spray it off with a little bit of warm water because it helps him a little bit more because he doesn't like cold water. But I do plan on taking blaze swimming this afternoon. Unless the boys are swimming. I mean, if they are swimming, we'll just Tell them to get out. I'll spray off my boots too. It's a bit dusty. Oh, I got poop all over my boot. Oh, I'd rather have poop on my hands than on my boot. Man, this is really dusty. Well, it's the bottom of my pile, so. The reason why I'm not soaking it tonight and I just stopped bringing it soaked in the trailers because it will coat, it will get moldy in this pa in this plastic bag. Um, and, and then what am I gonna feed him? So yeah, I'm only gonna give him a little bit. Cause I'm gonna soak it and it's gonna turn into more. Ooh. How am I gonna carry that? This bucket has been used for all sorts of stuff. Poop. Hey, grass clippings, um, um, grain, dirt. It was originally supposed to be a greenhouse um, bucket. I've taken a lot of my mom's greenhouse buckets. Okay, this should be enough. Come on, put that. Don't put that. I feel like I had to grab something else. <gasps> Extra hay. And then I'll rally blaze and that's, and then I'll pack all my stuff in the trailer and that'll be hot. 
I have no idea how to cut, so it's just gonna have to do. But yeah, I'm packing some extra hay because Blaze eats a lot of hay. He's gonna eat some on the way back, on the way there, and he's gonna and he's gonna be at the trailer like tied for like an hour and a half. So he is gonna eat quite a bit of hay. So I mean, he might not eat it, but whenever I go somewhere, I always bring extra hay because like, what if we broke down? We didn't have enough hay, and he was like there for like two hours without any hay. That's also why I bring water, even if there is gonna be water there. Cause there is gonna be water there, but I'm gonna take water anyways. Cause like, yeah, like if it breaks down, there'll always be stuff there. Taking so much stuff. I've never taken this much stuff anywhere. But now, I'm gonna go get Blaze, cause I need to ride him. You go give it to you till you have your, till you have it. You hold the one because I don't want you running off with the tweets. Okay. You want another tweet? Not gone. Blaze, what are you doing? Oh, you want water? I'll get you some water. Blaze doesn't really like drinking out of the watering trough over there. So I do like giving him water when he comes in. I still have Peach's hair in my thing. Literally, there's still white and golden hairs in my brush. And he's gonna go out for like a month. <sighs> he's been gone for like a month now. He's been gone for like five weeks. That's a long time, Blizz. My brothers think he's gotten thinner. He has not. He has gotten fatter. My brothers, I don't know what goes through their head. Don't worry, I'm not using two saddle pads. Only using one. I'm using one today and one tomorrow. I like doing different colors. My dad's like, my dad and mom are like, you don't need all those saddle pads? I'm like, yes I do. Just, I, I like collecting saddle pads and stuff. I think the only thing I like doing the uh, only thing I like using every time is the girth and the set and the bridle. And sometimes the boots I use every time. Ooh, yes. I turned a little too late to my boy. Turn. Turn. Good boy. Good boy. I'm just practicing turning. It's supposed to help keep his head down a little bit more and slow him down um, so that he'll keep his head down a bit more. I'm gonna practice doing lots of trotting and walking today. I might do a canter at the end just to stretch his legs a bit. Cause I cantered yesterday, but I haven't been cantering all week cause I did a lot of trotting and walking this week because I don't want it to overdo anything. Keeping it nice and slow. Easy peasy, we're not working too hard today. Just a bit of an exercise, just to keep you calm. Round that on through this. Cross, so I'm gonna go around that. Turn this way. I always look where I want to go because you do not want to go on the dirt. Never look down because you don't, if you look down, you'll fall down. Sure, right. Good boy. Nice and slow. Okay, and Good boy. Easy. Good boy. Good boy. You're getting better at it. You're still not putting it in the right position, but it's better. Good boy. Good boy. I'm gonna trot one big circle and then I might have a canner in each direction. 
then I'll be done. I don't want to overwork him since I've been working him quite a bit this last few weeks. Good boy. One, two, 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 one,
Yeah, I just don't want to talk about it. It would just be. If I was gonna have Blaze and not no tag, he would still have a lot of stuff because this is my stuff. This Blaze is stuff. I don't know how it's all gonna fit because I when it's out, it's quite a lot. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this here. Put my bridle hanging up, which is also very important to hang up your bridle. So the most important things to hang up, bridle, holder, and helmet, and ear bonnet. I mean, ear bonnet is not that important. <laughs> okay, put that in there. So I can like spread out everything when I get there. There's a bag of carrots, Here's some green. I took a little bit of green to give him as a little snack after being, if he was a good boy. Even if he's a good boy, I'll do it. But he's always a good boy. Except that time he buffed me off and I was riding bird bike. And that other time he bit me, but it's fine. Actually quite snug. Now I hope it's not all this stuff. Like what if I opened it and everything was everywhere, the saddle, the, the but everything was tipped over. Hay was everywhere. The sound bridle was just everywhere. It was girth and oh, I gotta think about that. We're gonna go out the pasture now. Yeah, he, 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 he's a bit small for this door, but I mean, better do bit. That's why I also like that because he can't suck on it. While I put it under my arm is because you're not supposed to put it on your shoulder because like never have your lead rope on your shoulder, anywhere near your neck, like, okay, it's off the place. Like, like if you put it on this and the horse is like right here or the horse is right here and it darts to that way, it's gonna, it can, it, it can pull off your head. And my instructor told me, Miss Lisa, that she told me that um, I once put my thing on the head and I was with peaches and she told me that it could rip my head off. So I never did that ever again. Never, ever, ever, ever. I do not want to lose my head. Okay. Yep. Bye.